laws of reflection of light laws of reflection of light when light to force on a shiny surface or mirror then some part of the light is bounced back on the same medium return back to the same medium this one is known as reflection of light so what this one is mirror okay. light falls on this one this is known as incident ray the point of incidence this one is normal this point and the incident ray is the reflected ray this angle is known as angle of incidence this angle is known as angle of reflection this one is normal the reflected ray the incident ray when light falls on a mirror then some part of of this incident light go back in the same medium this phenomena is known as a reflection of light is known as the reflection of light now the laws of reflection or for there are two laws of reflection there are two laws of reflection and the first is incident ray the reflected ray and normal all light in same plane all light in same plane second is angle of reflection i and the angle of angle of reflection r and the angle of incidence we are same or same are equal means angle i is equal to angle r angle of reflection are valid for all types of reflecting surfaces laws of reflection of reflection are valid for all type of reflecting surfaces now the types of reflection it is of two types it is of two types number one is regular reflection and second is irregular or diffuse or diffuse reflection now first is regular reflection when light falls on a smooth surface meet a parallel beam falls on a smooth surface then after reflection the reflected beam beam will also be parallel if a parallel beam falls on a regular surface or a smooth surface then after reflection after reflection 
your reflected beam will also be parallel. Will also be parallel. And this phenomena is known as regular refraction. Then this phenomena is known as regular refraction. This one is mirror, this is parallel beam. Incident parallel beam. It will reflect in this direction. The reflected parallel beam. Parallel beam. Irregular reflection. Second type is regular or diffuse. When a parallel beam falls on a rough surface, then the reflected beam will not be parallel. A parallel beam as a light beam. Falls on a rough surface, then the reflected beam beam is not parallel. No a parallel beam. Then this type of black sun. This type of reflection is known as diffuse or irregular reflection. Is known as diffuse or irregular reflection. This one is rough surface. Mirror of service, parallel falls on it. The incident parallel beam, parallel beam, after the black sun, here is, oh, this one is in this direction, we move in this direction, the impossibility to remove in this direction. These are the normals at the different points. Here is normal is this one. Here will be normal. Here is normal at this point. Normals are drawn. This one is normal. Here is also normal. Normal. This angle is I, then this will be a close over of reflection or by the reflected beam. Beam light. Image formation by plane. Next topic is image formation by plane mirror. This one is plane mirror. An object is placed here at this point. Object. Take any two rays from the object. Suppose first ray falls normally. At this time, angle of incidence is 90 degrees. So angle of refraction will also be 90 degrees. Second ray from this one, the object is this is incident ray. This will be the normal. This angle is I. So this angle will be R. This is reflected ray. If we extend these rays in backward direction, they appear to meet at this point. Here will be the image of the object. It will be of same size. O here, O is object. Object is of point size. Is of point size. Take any two rays from the object. 
wrong object when the incident on the mirror they will reflect on extending these rays in the backward direction they appear to meet at point i they appears to meet at point i it will be the image of object o will be the image of object o now the characteristics of image characteristics of image for biplane mirror image for by the plane mirror we are following characteristics of the image for the plane mirror number 1 is object image will be of same size as that of object image will be of same size as that of object second point it is erect and virtual matter it will be at same distance as that of object it will be at same distance behind the mirror is that of object number 4 it is laterally inverted it is laterally inverted